what is up nerds cloud here with my first impressions video that I've ever done so very new territory for me um, but we're doing an impressions video on Dragilly Lost it's a game that I saw in the App Store that had pre-order on it and I checked out the pictures and it led me to checking out the mobile direct uh, done by Nintendo last month and it really got me excited for the game. I can't lie to you guys. Uh, the combat system is what really got me in the art style. Um, so I wanted to give my impressions on it. So we're going to directly watch the trailer. And I'll be pausing inadvertently here and there uh, to go over. Again, the game is stamped by Nintendo, co-developed by Psy Games. Um, Darkness gathers. History threatens to repeat itself again. To safeguard Any game of swords, that has dragons and, and humans the combined, most promising like Legend of Dragoon or something, I'm 100% on board. And, and again, you can see, I'll, I'll be stopping the video inadvertently, more. but Luckily, the combat the system is what looks really good to me. I like that action of part of that, that RPG style kind of games. Side by side eye, like this is, we're watching the final episodes of Naruto, humans so... And dragons. Packed bound once more. Also, the word pack bound holds so much significance to me. Lost. So initially, it's the artwork that got me. So uh, the dragon that we see, which we'll learn the, the name later and have a hard time pronouncing, uh, has that Pokemon kind of esque feel to it. Uh, I thoroughly enjoy the eyes. Eyes are the windows to the soul, right? So uh, characters' eyes are re what really sets it for me. Uh, for some animes, TV shows. So looking at this, the character animations and the artwork is amazing, I think. Um, I like the subtle little shards. I like the sky. I like the way the text looks. So aesthetically, the game, you know, again, don't judge a book by its cover. But before you pick up the book, you need to like the cover. I'm liking the cover. Centuries again, again, the windows. The Window to the bound. soul. So much has changed. So they now, talked about the, the storyline. has come to rekindle this age-old alliance. So pack bounds once, once was were. It was a thing, but at some point it stopped. Whether it was four stopped or it was a natural. Well, we don't need to be pack bound anymore. So let's go ahead and draw a line in the sand. Um, times are kicking up to where pack bounds are going to be mandatory, not mandatory, but useful for both humans and dragons. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see what the storyline's gonna gonna draw us to, given the fact that we don't know what happens or what's going to happen. Small corner of a much larger world. Again, they're probably really proud of this background, which everything seems subtle. Kingdom of Alberia, where humans and dragons once lived together in har oh. harmony. Harmony. So if you so the narrator just said where humans and dragons once lived in harmony. Um, again, indicating to the viewer or the player that at one point it was kosher. Everything was... The dragons and the humans once had a pack bound that was beneficial, mutual. Um, whereas the kingdom of Alberia, the text states where they coexist currently. So that just could be, uh, again, it once was and now it is again. But where's that divot that happened where it wasn't necessary anymore? History tells us that the kingdom's founding coincided with the institution of a holy fragment. No so they, the pact bound came from an institution of a holy fragment, which is called the Sacred Shard. The narrator will explain it has the power to disrupt the appearance of monsters. Oh, a sacred shard. So dragons needed humans and humans needed dragons to defeat the enemies? Monsters. Yet for some reason, people say the shard's power has begun to fade. So first off, I'm a huge Final Fantasy fan. Uh, my name for this channel is Cloud. Uh, I have Cloud tattooed on me. So these characters look like the same monsters that you see throughout the Final Fantasy series. Specifically, I remember them from Final Fantasy IV. Um, and if you don't have a Liger coming out of a dark purple shadow of darkness, you don't have an RPG. This is an RPG. Dragon of the Forest. If you can hear my voice, then heed my call. Grant me the pack stone's power. So again, it was referred to as a sacred stone, but now it's called the pack stone. So again, all speculation. Um, 
maybe there's certain dragons that are because this is a gacha game there's a there's a pulling system or summoning system within this game's core but i wonder if the sacred stones play a significant part for maybe dragons you have to get like you don't have to pull for so like there's certain dragons that will always be there um not the ones that you summon for so maybe that's where the that storyline play comes in this young man is an Alberian prince. Though he may never become a king, he's been tasked with a mission of great importance. He so again, going back, he... Again, the main protagonist... Uh, again, I love the eyes. Um, doesn't have a main character. So I'm assuming this is what a gacha game would do um, when the storyline is based on you as the character. So you get to be him. So you get to name the character whatever you want to. I will probably name my character Cloud. Um... So he's the seventh royal prince. Um, typical storyline, in my opinion. Quite honestly, uh, he's a. Uh, he, you either it's never like the middle ground or the middle class. It's always like they came from the slums or from a poor stature, or they're cream of the crop, right? They're top tier. Um, so he I think never become a king. He's been tasked with a mission of great importance. He must Maybe. find a way to ensure that the Sacred Shard's magic will keep his kingdom safe. However, he cannot protect Alberia alone. And I just thought my sense. great honor to bond with the dragon, Midgard Sormer. So Midgard Sormer, so the, so the dragon that we saw in the beginning. So initially, this is going to be the tutorial dragon, right? The main dragon that we get that um, we'll learn about. We'll have to adventure into the forest where you saw our main character. Uh, along with the female and a little a little sprite fairy um i'm sure we'll get to a point in the story where the dragon's gonna need our help slash we need the dragon's help so we call out to him uh again i think the dragon looks so awesome so wind wirem midgard somer that's such a hard word for me to pronounce and i apologize if it seems like throughout that i i stuttered or slurred um, really cool character design though. Once held a pact with the founder of Alberia. So this specific dragon, right, ancient as history, held a pact with the original. Still, our prince needs a proper party at his side. So again, going back from what the last scene was, where it had a female character, our main character, and that fairy, I can only assume you're not gonna fight the dragon, but you might have to. The dragon might say you have to prove yourself in combat against me, defeat me, and I'll lend you my power. Uh, it might be the opposite. It might be, help me defeat the enemy of the forest, and I will assist you. This is an action RPG, after all. Alright, so, off the top, right, the user interface. Okay, so, we got the leveling system, we have stamina. So, small things, right, small things. So, the 7 over the 20 means that if you level up, you carry stamina, right? Initially, again, this is all speculation. But looking at that, if I level up from 2 to 3, I carry over my remaining stamina. I'm a huge fan of that. Absolutely huge fan of that. Um, when I level up, I hate knowing that my energy is going to be wasted. Um, there's, you know, there's differences. Uh, people have differing factors. Uh, Dragonlord Prince Uden. I am not too sure what that is. Um, it looks like a battle sign. Um, it might just be, it might just be an area that you're in. I'm not too sure. Uh, so this, we'll go into uh, what this is called later on, but this is basically your currency for the in-game items. Uh, so here's free, basically, and here's the paid. I don't remember the exact um, terminology for either of them, but they'll be stated when we get to the gotcha portion. Um, so there is a paid system. There's a value. It's going to use your free before they use your, your uh, bought currency. Um, I don't know what the shards are. Uh, they seem to be depleting, but it says plus, so you can refill it. Um, I don't know if this is like an arena battle or PvP, uh, or I'm sorry, PvE uh, multiplayer. I don't know if there's a certain amount you could do per day or how that is. Um, again, they have the gift box. Uh, I'm a huge fan of that aesthetic. I click that box, I know I have 11. So I have 11 items awaiting for me. Uh, we don't know how generous this game is going to be. We don't know how... If you use friends, does it does it benefit your friend by mutually following? The, can you send gifts every time you log into your mutual followed friends? Um, so they have dragon. It says up here dragon trials uh, with four little uh, diamonds. 
I'm assuming that's going to be banner events, so either gotcha pull banner events, uh, banner events, or it's going to be content. So storyline events specific to dragons or anything coming out. Uh, again, we have information. Maybe this is daily post um, by the creator, so maybe it's a communication form. And I have no idea what this is. Um, it looks again. It looks like you're re rebuying jewels, like the, the diamonds. So, I'm assuming that's where you can click to instantly go to purchase more. Uh, Co-op is going to be a huge thing in this game, and it looks so cool because you can do four or you can do massive, depending on the event, which is another great point to this game. Um, it's got events, uh, its own little section. So again, this is just a banner showing what events are coming out. While this one's going to be, you click, it's separate from the storyline, from the main storyline. So I like when they separate those. Um, events taking place, I can only think it's just another way, another banner to show you. Uh, or maybe it's just a visual representation of exactly what's going on. Um, quest, I'm sure, is going to be the main part of the storyline. Uh, that's where you're going to be able to pursue the main storyline campaign. And it'd be geographically separated from the rest. Um, and again, it looks like you, maybe it's going to be the main character, the prince. Uh, but it'd be really cool if you can change uh, who you want at your home screen. And uh, Star Ocean Animesis, um, you're allowed to change who your favorite character is in games like Final Fantasy Brave Exvius. Uh, they have your team set up in the front. So uh, it'd be really cool to change that. And I'm sure the background changes for the last area that you played. Um, they have the home screen upgrade, which is um, uh, probably upgrading your weapons, which, again, uh, the narrator goes into. Teams uh, has a section for that. Castle is um, pretty different for this game. I don't know if anyone out there has ever played um, SimCity or Age of Empires or Final Fantasy XIV or Realm Reborn. Uh, Castle, I always want to call it Castle Crashers, um, but uh, Royal Clash castle crash um, you basically get to build and the narrator will go on it uh, you basically get to build sections within your castle don't know if it gets attacked don't know if you can expand its land um, but I know you can expand its uh, items in there you basically create your own little place where you can go to get um, equipment leveling up gear um, money so you get to build this while you're playing off game and you're offline the game's still generating things for you. The summon, which, uh, again, I'm assuming is going to be the summoning portion. Uh, lit RNG, bless everyone's pulls in this game. Uh, and then more uh, is going to be maybe information or probably your settings for your player name, uh, audio, things like that. So user, so the UI, right? So looking at the UI automatically, it looks good. Uh, it's aesthetically pleasing. I enjoy it. I enjoy it thoroughly. Um, so I spent a lot of time on that, but... Before charging into battle. Oh, and again, what should, what should, what should slash NL study today? I don't know if that's an NPC <laughs> or that's uh, characters. <laughs> I'm sure it's an NPC. It's best to build an effective party. All right, so we're looking at this automatically. So we see the prince, we see um, the girl that we saw in the previous scene, and we see a new character. Uh, at the very top so looking just at the top right we have our leader which uh your leader i'm sure will act as your friend unit uh for anyone to use uh these arrows indicate that you have different um teams you can have uh because once we go further along you can see that there's elements there's elements and there's weapon types um so our main character can equip the sword uh this will go into worm prints uh, that's later on we'll cover that and then everyone can equip the dragon uh now we're looking at four star bases right so there's different star based characters uh if you're new to the mo uh, to the mobile gotcha system game uh but you have like two stars three stars four stars five stars the better star you you pull or you summon that you get to your account uh the higher rarity the better that they are right so the higher rarity the harder it is to get the better they should be uh, that's not to say that if you get a three star or a four star character they're terrible especially when these new games come out it's always it's always good to save characters um just to see where their abilities can be a four star healer can be great if you need a healer um so anyway it seems every character can equip the dragon uh 
and the worms print acts as an accessory like i said we'll go over that you get four characters per and it says co abilities right up here but i don't know exactly what that means um so anyway i don't know if it's a limit to how many stars you have that will equate to can you or can you not equip a um dragon nor do i know if equipping so the main character is of red he's a fire um so he equips the wind dragon wings oh man i'm gonna slaughter that name every single time i don't know if it helps him or there's an attribute that the dragon gives to him if he is of the same element uh, i'm not too sure how that works um so looking down here you're seeing there's much there's many different affinities uh that this game already has uh light wind fire water shadow i know i'm missing one no that's all of them um so let's proceed on let's see yes they'll do so it has these little backgrounds on it too um i don't know exactly what that indicates maybe that's just they look ready nah i think that's just a background are you this first off i also want to go back to that they're kind of rocking to the beat are you this fast paced art all right so Fast-paced RPG, which is 100% true. So your main character takes the front, right? So whoever you have equipped is at the front, and the rest of the characters are auto-attacking, right? Again, aesthetically, game looks great. So this game allows for auto. You can, I don't know how it works. You click auto, the game runs for you. It, it runs the most direct path. I'm not too sure how that's going to work. Um, oh, man, I just think the game looks so great. So there's going to be um, traps in the game, right? And the narrator will explain uh, traps in a second. Um, so there's things you gotta watch out for, so it's not something that you, again, you can just auto through, and I don't know if the character stops or what, but you have to be cognizant of what's going on in the dungeon. It's not just, let me look away from the uh, phone and you know travel this way. Uh, there is a mini map up here that we can't see, which is awesome. I hope you can press it to make it bigger. Um, Fire and you get burned. So you, you see him, he's have set up traps. It, it'll it'll show it later, but he was uh dashing. So every, there's no there's no buttons on the screen to touch, shy of the ones at the uh, bottom left that will go over. But you just press to uh, move and then you swipe to dash. And they're always looking for And again, your four characters, uh, you, I'm sorry, your three characters will always stay behind you, try to uh, trying to stay in sync in that motion. Fight. Again, it looks great. So, I don't know, again, I don't know if hits uh, help the meter give bonuses to enemies' drop rates. Uh, but you saw the character come straight in and immediately start attacking. So, there's a range, right? So, this main character attacked three at once. Even though that sword looks super short, the distance went pretty far. And as soon as he started attacking, I pointed to my camera like you guys could see it. But as soon as that happens, the characters start to attack. Uh, the three characters start attacking as well. So, um, oh man, look at that! That's so cool. Um, so the attack animations look pretty cool. I don't know if that's the basic combo. One, two, three. He always does a front flip. Um, we'll see different. Uh, again, there's different weapon types. You'll create a chance to let me. So I I'm sure each ability ha that a, a character has has a cooldown. So uh, when you start attacking, maybe it starts to refill. Who's a special ability? This one's called Blazing Serpent. So it has voice acting, which is cool, right? It's just that little extra touch. It's not just blank silent. You may have some flashy. So if we saw that skill. A thing that I want to a thing that I want to point out is all right. So the enemy is attacking. Clearly, we can see the enemy is about to do a breath triangle pizza attack, right? So if you look, right, it's hard to see it there, but the characters attack. Uh, I'm sorry, the enemies attack. It's the small things. Let's see the pizza attack. The the attack still went through. Uh, the point I'm trying to get at is like games like Star Ocean Animesis, when you do your special ability, the enemy stops moving and you do your attack. So this is something to keep in mind for combat. The game might have it to where the enemy will continue to attack even though you do your skill. So, you know, I would go, okay, well, great. I'm going to use my character skill to break through an enemy's attack to stop it. It's not going to stop it. You may have some flashy moves, but overconfidence will get you surrounded. Again, it's aesthetically pleasing. They're... They're giving you the care. They're giving you the, as the player 
another way to see how the enemy is attacking. Now, this is a special attack. Again, the, uh, notice the red uh, to see the area. And again, when you dash your characters, you auto. Hope the AI can help. You can also see the exclamations above the enemy. Uh, just another indicator that it's a special attack, not a regular attack. So those are the only ones that will show. Working together. So again, some um, some coordination right with the AI. Uh, the controlled character walk behind the enemy. With your allies will be important when executing your strategies in battle. So the the character that's tanking, right? He he wasn't classified as a tank. He's an attacker, but obviously has a little bit more versatility with damage, and has more versatility with uh, his health. Uh, went to the back, and then you click. Just to clarify. This will be important when executing your you tap the character and it brings in strategies and battle what I'm assuming is the top character up here maybe you have to click quick to switch between who you really really want I really feel like you should be able to click the top so if I wanted to switch to axe man or small eared cat girl I wish should be able to click their picture I don't know if that's gonna be a part of it I don't know um, but anyway clicking the picture will allow you to switch and again it gives you that customization in combat as a player And speaking of battles, and there's the a run, there's a full sprint. These little, by the way, these things I think you can break them to break through money, uh, and what this other drops, right? So there's that. That's like a mini liger that we saw. It's that's specifically a wolf, not more of a liger. Look like an overgrown pup, but this. So um, I'm, I'm these exclamations. I don't know if there's uh, attack damage that's buffed if you catch an enemy off guard. Or that's just the, the game's way to, uh, that's just the game's way of like, hey, we see the enemy. Again, so we see the distance. Uh, again, I, I'm sure you can control the AI to some effect, maybe in settings like, hey, stay back, attack the minions first, or full rush to Bosch, only heal. All right, so this is the first time that we get to see like the whole entire, the whole entire screen itself. So we see our characters, right? Uh, so we see four of them. Uh, we see the bottom character that we have equipped. We see his health up here. So here, again, I'm assuming is items. Here are weapons that have been dropped. Not too sure what this parchment is. Um, I don't know what these blue orbs are, but I believe they are what fill the dragon's meter. Um, and then I can only guess that that's money. And this character's name is Huge Sapphire Hound. Um, the again, I love the map and here's a little settings thing I don't know exactly what that'll bring down but something else on the UI during combat uh, I'm assuming this will be the pause menu now that I think about it um, So again, there's a lot going on the damage too is something small. I want to point out uh, yellow obviously indicates critical um, And then the word critical as well, but that numbers not highlighted yellow So maybe I'm wrong on that. Maybe yellow is something else, but Critical is going to be uh, <laughs> critical is going to be indicated by the yellow. Um, uh, the narrator is going to go over something else that we'll talk about. Becoming inflamed with rage. <laughs> yes, this is bad. Oh, don't hold back. If you let up now, you're a goner for sure. Yes. Oh, I thought I caught it right at the end. All right, so uh, this immediately remind, reminded me of uh, Final Fantasy 13, where you have to continuously hit a character to the point where their defense breaks, right? So as you saw, if you continuously hit the character repeatedly, they go into an overdrive You're mode, which increases, sure. right? So the little yellow meter below them. So it didn't seem like he had new attacks. It just seemed like he's stronger. Going anywhere. Um, um... When the gauge reaches zero, it enters a break state. When it, you, this is when it's free to hit as much as you want. So when the character, so when the boss was defeated, when the boss was defeated, it gave out a bunch of money and like a little potion thing. I'm not too sure what that is. It does a little quick examination of your in-game characters. adventurers has done well. But there are forces stronger than your will alone. The monsters ahead. So there's treasure chests in the game. There's different areas. Won't take long. Is uh, maybe the game just to keep things going and interesting? They have characters commentating each other. Unbelievably tough lot. 
Uh, I don't know if you can get knocked off the stage. I doubt you could. Um, I doubt. I really, really doubt you could. Uh, maybe it's just aesthetics. Like, hey, we're high up in the high up in the sky. Uh, you saw. It's very quick, but there's obviously going to be status ailments in here. I'm sure that's poison. Um, so again, you have equipment. You have your weapon. You have a charm, and you have a dragon. Maybe the dragon has attributes that can assist. Maybe the charm helps. Uh, the worm's print helps, but. Not for the might uh, there's status dragons. elements within the game. He talks a good game. He talks a good Mr. game. Seventh and Line has much to learn of his pact and his heritage. So now we're starting to see the dragons. The royal family knows well the dragon blood within their veins. Do if I do not know. Enters a pact with the dragon. Its mighty form and powers will be yours to command. I do not know if they're going to be part of the uh, gotcha system. Rather than they're going to have some. The they're going to have some dragons that are just part of the main storyline. Um, acquired by slaying monsters grant the ability to transform into a dragon. You can also get them by breaking dragon obelisks. Once you've gleaned the power you need from these crystals. So these blue crystals, right? So that dragon ob obelisk is just a large quantity of them. The more you defeat enemies, the more that you get your meter to go up. <coughs> Excuse me. It's shape shifting time. So there's two bars. So I don't, I don't know. It's obviously a time limit, so I don't know what the time limit states. I don't know if it's 10 seconds. I don't know if it's five seconds. I don't. But clearly, you can use one to go into the mode, or you can go to a second meter to double your length. Um, I don't know if it. I don't know if it gives them a boost or what, but immediately reminds me of um, that transformation. Immediately reminds me of Legend of Dragoon, um, Midgar Somer. Um, again, it has that like comic book thing. I've never said that before, but like the shit out of the ha. Power. So again, so when the character the when the character changes, it's an amazing animation. Power. So even the transformation, I think, does damage because it was still doing damage um, while you transform. So that's awesome. Um, the main character switched forms. Uh, the health stayed the same. It didn't regenerate health. Um, so maybe there's not like it's not like an emergency um, X factor meter um, rather it just gets you uh, increases defense attack I'm sure so as soon as he transformed he had access to his tornado uh, tail I'm sure that's an in-game cutscene to where when the, when the pack bound happens less about your royal blood unless you prove yourself in battle okay So we get our first look. We get our first look at the dragons. So we saw wind. We have fire, um, water. Uh, I'm assuming like phoenix, kind of earthly spirit, like light. And then we got who I want to get, the Bahamut one. The companions you meet on your journey can also. So maybe again, assuming from this just staring, you will have to battle. So like we talked about in the beginning of the video. You're going to battle uh, the first dragon uh, to get him on your team. So maybe each dragon we saw is the main four plus this one five. Um, maybe that's going to be uh, how we obtain them, the main ones. So Jupiter, again, look at this AOE damage. Again, 86, I'm assuming, is the critical. Huge, huge damage. Zodiac with the darkness. This damage is still going. So as soon as this, again, Jupiter, each dragon offers something Zodiac, that damage is still going. All the help you can get. Mercury, water. So it seems like all of them, every single dragon, when they're uh, when you pack bound and you summon them on your specific character, which you can only seem to do one at a time right now. Uh, as soon as you summon them, you instantly do an AOE attack, which is good. It's the get off me. So going back to that X Factor thing, like it maybe. the more you look at it, maybe it is. Um, so, Anointed Lance. Each one has their Elisane? Oh, man. Elisane? Elisane. There you go. Elisane. I think these are going to be the staple characters. They're going to be the ones that are part of the main storyline. They're not going to be part of the gotcha system. They might be part of the gotcha system if they have, like, you know, summertime versions. Different time. Uh, different type versions. Others will be gifted healers. There are four types. In so attack, defense, support, healing, self-explanatory attack is you're going to be your main DPS. Defense is going to be your um, 
tank. Healing is going to be your support, uh, specifically for healing. And a support unit, I believe, is going to uh, be giving bonus effects as buffs and uh, maybe debuffing the enemy. Also, your companions so here's the elements, right? So um, I know in uh, Fire Emblem Heroes, uh, they have almost the same elements. I do not play that game. But I know in Naruto Blazing, they have the exact same type of elements. So Shadow and Light always hurt each other. They do more damage. They're not more defensive against each other. Flame beats wind. Wind beats water. Water beats flame. Going in reverse is um, uh, the defense for it. Different ways. For example, those who bring the fire... Are Those who bring the fire and weakened by water, their weapons have distinct characteristics. So the the these are I only are these I think will only determine your attack pattern. So we saw the main character do uh, front flip with the sword. Not saying that he can't equip something like the lance. It's going to change. Uh, it might change his skill. The skill might come with the weapon because there is a gotcha system for the weapon. So it might not be character based. It might be weapon based for Six the well. uh, skills. Again, speculation. Take these factors into account when forming your. Um, so we see two skills now. We see two skills now for the character. Um, again, this is a main unit, so maybe that's specific because she maybe should be high ranked, maybe she'd be high starred. Uh, but we see two. Her attack pattern is different. She's a little bit longer, and she's also water. Um, so again, the lance might change. And actually, looking back at that, that's the factors same skill that the main character had right here. So maybe. I digress. <laughs> maybe the character has a default, and then maybe the weapon. Maybe this is what the weapon one means. With your choices before heading into battle. Uh, again, same two, same two attacks right there. So, uh, if your future. Pro All right. So now we get our first look at, um, I guess, events. I'm assuming this is also. This looks like it's going to be um, the quest of the main storyline. So chapter two, yep, exactly. Um, suggested, a, so your team together uh, makes a total attack. So suggested, um, it's just a way of the game helping you. Hey, this is what you should be at here. Uh, the flirt of flares is what I like to call them. Um, I'm guessing these are your missions. So if you complete missions, uh, let's say it's don't get attacked, no KO, and use a special ability to defeat the boss, uh, you're gonna get in-game items specific from that uh, area. Water, then call upon a companion with a window um, so again, we have a filtering system. We go back. The the game is recommending for that quest you use water type. This guy this <laughs> only has fire and three wind. But he's got all these waters available. And now he's going to use wind to defeat the water. It's working, but many quests aren't so simple. So it's just maybe it's saying the boss. Maybe it's all the characters. Um, so maybe the game wants you to focus on one specific core of one type of unit. So all green, all blue, all red. Um, we don't know if content's gonna be, all right, you gotta go through four chambers, one chamber of fire, one chamber of wind, one chamber of uh, water. So you need to bring one of each character. Maybe that's what it is. There are more than 60 adventurers to meet and welcome onto your party. So again, 60 adventurers, I believe is part of the gotcha of system. Situations. As impressive as they are. Again, the art style I love. I absolutely love the art style of this game. It's best There's so many waifus I'm seeing already. Monsters possess a ferocious appetite for power. Uh, So we've already seen this before, aside from the character getting demolished. They'll continue to grow stronger. You'll have to double your efforts to keep up. And fortunately... So when the character passes from this earth, uh, I believe that's when they say something. There are four ways to gain strength. You aren't relegated to merely grinding for experience points. Although they... So like I talked about, those main quest missions, they're right here. Don't allow any teammate to fall in battle. So unlocking Fleur de Fleurs uh, grants you access to something, uh, grants you bonuses. They certainly do come in handy. So again, I'm seeing level uh, for the character, not player level. Um, level up rewards. So it seems like in the beginning when you level up, um, oh, multi points. So maybe those 18 that we saw, that was the multi points. And that stamina again gets regenerated plus whatever you had left over. Um, you get that 50. These 50 stone shards or these orbs are what's going to get you your, whoops. That's what's going to give you um, access to uh, summoning characters. 
Um, you can also unlock friend slots, and then over here is when it will the storyline. I'm sorry, the narrator will get over it. Uh, get over to it later. I cannot speak. I apologize. Um, the wind altar is just something that we uh, can add to our castle and smithy. You can also get stronger by equipping superior weaponry. That's not the only. So this is the part that I've tried to look at multiple times. So when they beat the mission, uh, so mana is what we're that bluing, and it's called rupees. So it's not called money; it's called rupees. Um, it shows this lance right here, adventurer's lance, and a few other items down here that I can't make out what they are exactly. Um, Benefit you have to look forward to. So uh, there's gonna be weapons. another one. So this is a bow, and this bow has no element. So there's neutral also elements in the game. Also changes your fighting style. Not to mention, maybe it's maybe it's holy, maybe it's light, but I'm assuming it's neutral. Um, so we have, uh, I believe this is what adds to your HP, uh, what adds to your strength overall, and I do not know what that means. Uh, we have whetstones that increase the level of each weapon. Um, augment points, I'm sure we'll find that out later with higher equipped weapons. Uh, one, two, three, four, five is the might. I'm not too sure what might would indicate. Each adventure. So there's gonna be fragments in the game that you level up. So you have, you let le you have leveling up your character specifically, and then you had leveling up your uh, weapons, which allows you to get more HP, more might, and more strength. It also has something called. I think this is probably one of the coolest things I've never seen in a gacha game, which reminds me a lot of Final Fantasy X. This magical structure provides a range of benefits. So, each tier that you go up on, it doesn't show exactly what it is. So. Um, I, again, it talks about nodes, which is exactly what Final Fantasy X calls it. So these little green mana, maybe that's what we get uh, with the story, I'm sorry, what the last scene had us sh uh, showing us. So you can upgrade ability, get more strength, upgrade your skill, get more strength, HP. So I think when you complete a ring, you move up to the next tier. Um, I don't know how grindable, I don't know how grindable this uh, mana will be. Um, and I don't know if it means this mana this manosphere is gonna be like it's 30 nodes tall you know what I mean so that means you have a long time to get through one character to max them out depending on how much each cost you can use it to strengthen attack power and skill so again this costs 3600 to level up 19 HP uh, which is a, a lot compared to what he has I mean he has plenty left over but or acquire new abilities I, it's the small things. I think that's awesome. That's such that a cool mechanic to put in the game. To the holy castle known as the Halidome. So the Halidome was what I was talking about. That uh, where mines can be built to that gold. Clash of Clans the perspective. Be to enhance abilities. So we see a character training in combat. We have fire. We have darkness. Earth, light, water. Uh, here's our castle. Here um, they're mining. What I believe is it looks like whetstones over here. There looks like there's a tower defense here and obviously one opening gate. Um, not too sure what this pillar of trees is, but. Adventurers have many ways to toughen up. So take advantage or your foes will gain an edge on you. So going back real quick, we see the two different dragons already, which I think is just awesome. Again, exalted fire. Now, now my man's front flipping in the air and says, we're not just gonna, I'm not just gonna throw um, I'm not gonna throw a front flip. I'm gonna rev it up with the flames of desire. Here is the only problem that I'm concerned about for the game uh, from a gotcha player. This is my only concern. So uh, I think it's cool that when you summon it went from blue to gold. So maybe this means your highest tier that you get from summoning is gonna be a gold. So at least you know. But I don't know if something can break and then become something else. Like it goes from yellow, it has a chance to go to rainbow. Um, uh, I think that this is the um, uh, Mirror Sprint, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, I think this is the uh, the emblem, the necklace, that the crest that you can wear in your character. So gold. So this blue and this silver, I believe that this is a two uh, or a three star character. Uh, the character that you're getting is a thief or a dagger wielding character like that's their main weapon doesn't say they can't equip others maybe you can't equip more than one or any other one but what you're uh if you're an attack you cannot equip the staff if you are a uh defense you have to have an axe I i'm not sure again two of those both those were i, I believe three star characters so i think the weapons 
indicate what the um, uh, what character so value the character you just summoned is. And special... So worm prints. There are three. There are three different summonings for all the same currency. It's That's what concerns me. That's what concerns me. First off, you can summon a wide variety of adventurers with varied attributes. So again, when you summon that character, that weapon, uh, the weapon that was on the podium, maybe the character flips out of nowhere and does their cool animation for it. So silver is a three-star bronze. Gold indicates a four-star character. Waifu. And rainbow, obviously top tier. Again, El uh, beautiful art. Absolutely beautiful art. These gold stars are worth more than brownie points. Star counts indicate the caliber of those who are summoned. If you happen to summon two of the same character, you're not out of luck. In that case, you'll acquire Eldwater instead. It's good stuff. You want as much of it as you can get your hands on. Alright, so he's going to explain it, but the Eldwater is what you use to promote your character from a 3-star to a 4-star or whatever max they can go to. Do not know if a 3-star can go up to a 5-star or 6-star, whatever the cap is. Um, but you see the level limit goes from 60 to 70 once you have 2,500. So we just saw this was a three-star base character or a bronze, a three-star base character. If you happen to summon two of the same character, you're not out Which of is going to be frequent. You're going to summon case, frequent um, characters. Instead. So for a bronze By character, you get 150. It costs 2,500. 2,500. That is a lot. You can increase... And again, oh, this explains it. So, uh, if you look back here very carefully, you can see three star to five star, five star. So there's no six star base. So we're looking at only five stars now. So it seems like even three stars can make it to five stars. That's great. That's absolutely great. There's our main character. He can officially go to five stars. The only, I also wish the 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 picture changed when they level up. I'm always a fan of that. This sacred run is the best way to attain the So again, we're looking at the second part of the gacha system now. We had characters and now we have dragons. I really think the five dragons that we saw will be part of the main storyline. These don't affect the main storyline, rather the events that come through. So we have a Cinder Dragon, which is like a level one. There's we have an M. And then we start about. getting into the big boys. That's a four-star base dragon. Worm prints, and they I think the different dragons will have different attacks and different attributes to give to your characters. So Water element might buff your water attacks. It might decrease water damage taken. And I believe each dragon has a unique skill for themselves. The memories of the world. Think of them as an amulet or talisman. Some so they're saying that it's an... Think of it like an amulet or a talisman. So uh, here's a three-star uh, worm print. It can go up to level 20. Uh, it gives you 13 might. Uh, you get 10 HP and 3 uh, oh strength. God. And it gives recover potency, so obviously that's going to be going on your healer. Um, so the act is again when you're equipping, you only have three Depending slots for it. Level... Uh, and again, a cute, cute uh, animate uh, pictures. Four star base, uh, again much more beneficial for this one. There's three different areas, so you could swipe and maybe read about what it was. It's well worth your time. Waifu, poison edge. So maybe, again, poison damage, force strike. Uh, it has these little character symbols over here. I'm not too sure if that's specific to characters. Maybe they get the buff. I'm assuming at any. I'm assuming 100% that any character can equip any uh, Even if you worm are print. Prince, this sacred right. So here's a summoning showcase. So after me, I will lead the way. Attack surrounding foes and slash forward. So it's a five star base character. Uh, again, you have these four little diamonds right here. So I'm assuming you can uh, swipe. Uh, this plus sign means you could probably go look the character in depth. Uh, first encounters, uh, n not a huge fan of that box coming out of that. That's really bad. Um, uh, they have the the rates for the banners, uh, and maybe this shows all the banner stuff. So I'm assuming this is tickets you could summon with ten tickets plus. This account is a whale of a whale, uh, and I believe this five thousand is the paid for. They're going to talk about that. They seem to have a daily summon. Right, so day, maybe it's a half full. Maybe it pulls 500. Um, uh, maybe it's uh, 500 gems. Uh, but in this case, every day once you can do 250 single summons. Uh, the little uh, sword in the stone right here, 
and then tenfold one adventurer guaranteed. Maybe they refer to four star bases as adventurers, um, but maybe it's a ten plus one summon. Maybe it's a ten summon. Uh, I really hope it's a ten plus one uh, because it's more value for your buck. Would you want to do ten summons at five hundred for five thousand, or would you want to save five thousand and then use ten and get plus one? Is only possible in the so use so summon showcase so wormite I keep calling it diamond and I apologize so 150 wormite to perform a so it's 150 for a single summon and you get to choose do you want to use your paid or do you want to use your free presence of wormite or diamantium diamantium again these are the two distinguishing factors for free to play and pay to win um all right so. Again, we're looking at 150 for a summon. Oh, it's not gonna let me go back to it. Uh, okay. Sacred right is only possible. So it's talking about 150 for one summon. Or diamond, or diamond. Yeah. So we get our first look at the. We get our first look here. Um, 48 isn't enough, so a dollar is not enough. Uh, 193, so four dollars gets you one summon. It's, it's, I'm not surprised by the prices. We don't know what the big stuff is. Uh, we don't know what the big stuff is down below, but I'm not surprised by those numbers. If you're new to the gotcha system, these are, though, it seems like a, it is a lot. Um, hopefully this game is free to play friendly. Hopefully it's free to play friendly. I always have this philosophy, summon who you want because you like them. Summon uh, for who you need. And are you stuck somewhere? Okay, we'll try to summon for that character because at the end of the day, it is random. And that's part of the fun. Uh, the most views that I've ever seen or uh, the hypest that pulls go, the hypest things that I see on stream or on videos are when pulls happen because, it, you know, it's, it's the randomness. So, um, obviously, uh, doing seeing this, <clears throat> seeing this individual pull, he's pulling for Wormite. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, Wormprints. He's pulling for characters. And he's pulling for um, uh, possibly dragons. Because remember when that dragon came in, it hit that crystal. So you can summon for all at one time. I'm not going to pause this too much because I feel like the video is super long. Uh, you can play with four at the same time, right? So yourself and three others. So I that is so... Any game that has multiplayer like this, I absolutely love absolutely love uh, again we see um, you get a filtering system from when you want to use uh, helpers or when you want to use teammates every single quest in the game any single quest you get to use multiplayer for awesome absolutely awesome. and again it's the small things it's the aesthetics I love how this looks this looks so cool this looks so cool you get room IDs, so you can, if you want to have specific people only come in because you guys are on Discord chat or you're streaming or you have a group of friends that are around you, it shows their fight. I, you can look at them more in depth. I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. So Dragon Blood Prince, now that I'm seeing this, I believe this is your character's name. Oh, his name might be Uden. His name might be Uden. Uh, I believe this is a, a title that you can wear. So that's exactly what that is. Your cause. You can also create your own room and invite over other players. Just awesome. I love the way it looks. It's a, a small thing. Look at this. Hold even greater rewards and you get to bring you get to bring three people, plus yourself and your two teammates. And look, so this is we're going we're going to the we're going to Final Fantasy um, uh, fourteen content now. Where you attack specific. You, this is like near. You're attacking specific components of a of a boss. To make him weak to be able to diminish one part. This is the same thing in uh, uh, Dragon Project. The royal family. The rest of its storyline, guys. I went so in depth in this. Uh, I hope it made sense. I hope you could understand me. Um, I thoroughly am. In, I'm thoroughly looking forward to this game. It's supposed to be coming out the 27th of September. At least that's what the iOS states. I will absolutely be downloading this and trying it out on stream. Um, Again, the only negative thing that I can look at this just based on this presentation is the three different factors for the gacha system. Um, that's the only thing. The art style looks good. The combat looks fun. 
the multiplayer is what I'm probably the most excited for to be able to just hang out and just play games with people. Um, I know this is such a long video. I hope you guys found it informative. Um, if I missed something or I misdirected something, please let me know in the comments below. Let me know if you're excited for this. Uh, make sure to give this video a like if you liked what I said. I appreciate everyone. I hope you guys have a great day. Where is the stop recording button?